Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a weapon in Roblox Studio. I'm going to be using a newer method since most most um, weapon tutorials on YouTube they use dot game dot players dot local player colon slash get mouse and um, they use the, the tool activated so there's nothing wrong with this but those are deprecated so in the future the code may long no longer work because roblox will remove those so that's why i'm going to be using a new method so let's get started so first you want to open up a template and then you want to um first make your gun model if you have one already you can just skip this part so I'm going to do a very quick one and here's my gun model so after you want to union it and name it handle so after you do that you want to add a tool in starter pack and a local script in starter player starter character scripts and a script in server script service and a remote event in re replicated storage so then you want to de delete the default code for both scripts. And first, you want to get your services. So first you want to get the user input service, and then the context action service. Then you want to get the backpack of the player. So wait for child, the backpack. And you want to get the children of the backpack. And now you need you should make a table that's named tools. And um, since my tool is going to be a pistol, I'm going to do pistol equals table, and the name equals backpack one, since it's the first item in the backpack. And um, equipped equals false since the player didn't equip the weapon and damage equals 20 my pistol is going to do 20 damage so now you want to do context action service local to equip connect a function and inside the pair of fences you want um you want put tool which is going to be the specific tool that you the player equipped so now you want to do for IV Imperius tools do if V name is equal to tool then V equipped equals tool and then you want to do the same thing but this time local tool unequipped connect function and this time changing the V equipped to false Okay, now you want to do user input service, input began connect function. So when a player clicks his keyboard his or clicks the mouse, so input. So if input user input type is equal to mouse button 1, so if the player clicks the left mouse button, so then it will go through the tools again. And if V equipped equals to true. Then. So if the player clicks the mouse and he has a tool equipped. So then we want to get the mouse position. So workspace.camera viewpoint viewport point to ray. And UIS get mouse location X. And then UIS get mouse location Y. And then minus 4. And then local mouse position equals ray new. Ray origin. Ray direction times 1000. 
and local target equals workspace find part on array and that's the mouse position so basically it gets the mouse position in a 2d vector then it makes a ray for the ray direction and it, it, it sees if something touched the ray so if target and so if target is not equal to nil and target parent find first child humanoid so every NPC every player has a humanoid so if it finds a humanoid then it knows it's a player or an NPC so then game dot replicated storage remote event fire server and you want to fire the target the target parent and the V damage so how much damage it does so now game dot replicate storage remote event on server event connect function and the first argument is always going to be the player then object parent and the damage so object parent humanoid health minus damage and that's it so this is the newer way to make a gun so the good thing about this is you don't have to worry about the code not working because it'll always work until roblox like says it's deprecated or they just remove it for whatever reason so now so now you could just test it and um yeah make sure the the your pistol is not touching anything Oh wait, yeah, I didn't even put the handle inside the tool. Okay, yeah, make sure your your pistol is inside the tool and it's named handle. So, also I'll just get a NPC from the toolbox. I'll remove the scripts. Okay, now that you got that, now I want to test it, okay. So I just look, I shoot at his head, and he loses 20 health. I shoot again, 20 health, and it works. So, yeah, it could also kill you. So make sure that, and the target player is not the local player. And the target player is not equal to okay make sure it's not the local player which is you okay wait a minute and the target parent name I guess so now it can't hurt you but it could hurt other people or NPCs. So yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. And this is the new way to make guns, weapons in Roblox Studio. So anyways, I'll maybe make an advanced version of this. But anyways, peace out. See ya.